children to oppress the children of Israel and nothing is going to happen to you? No. You will be rewarded ten times over. Million times over. What you did to us, you're going to pay. And what this brother bringing out is absolutely dynamic. He just brought out what the Bible says that the so-called oppressor the Caucasian race, you are going into slavery when Christ returns. Right. And this may sound crazy to you, and it may sound far-fetched, but this is why this has to happen. Because it's called justice. Right. You believe in justice, right? America prides itself on being a nation of justice and liberty and for all people. The problem is that doesn't exist for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. It sounds good on paper, but it never really existed for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The 12 tribes of Israel. Where's the liberty and justice for the Hispanic children in cages at the border? Where's the liberty and justice for the 2 million black men behind bars? Where's the liberty and justice for the 100,000 black women that are missing right now? Where was the liberty and justice for George Floyd? Where was the liberty and justice for Sandra Bland and Emmett Till? You see the problem with America? You see the problem? You have a long track record of being hypocrites, of saying one thing and doing another thing. And the beauty of it is the world sees your hypocrisy, America. The world sees your hypocrisy, Mr. White Man. While you say pray for Ukraine, you hate black people. While you say let's pray and donate to Ukraine, you hate Hispanics and Native Americans. While you say that Vladimir Putin shouldn't invade Ukraine, you kick the Mexicans out of a land that originally belonged to them. You see the hypocrisy of America? God is going to destroy America because it's what justice is. And because blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have been slaves in this place, it sounds outrageous. But it's what, it is what real justice looks like. You commit a crime and you pay for it, right? Black man, if you commit a crime right now, ain't you gonna pay for it? They gonna make sure you pay for it. This is how bad it is, black man. Not only do we pay for our crimes, we pay for the crimes of other people. We in jail for, black men right now are in jail for things that they didn't even do. So much so that white people had to establish an organization called the Innocence Project because it was a pattern of so many black men being found out by DNA evidence that they were wrongfully imprisoned. So clearly, we pay for our crimes and we pay for the other people's crimes. But why would we come up here and say that the white man has to pay for his crimes, now you think we're racist. Now you think we're a hate group. You're a goddamn hypocrite and you love America and you hate your people. Because what we're saying is justice, man. Should a child molester pay for his crimes? He should. And if you say he shouldn't, you're disgusting. You're filthy bastard. Should a rapist pay for their crimes? They absolutely should. Should a murderer pay for their crimes? They absolutely should. So why do you not agree when we say that white man should pay for his crimes? When have they ever paid for the lynchings of our forefathers? Hmm? They brought Germans all the way back to Germany and had the Nuremberg trials for murdering the Jewish man. Right now, they look and still looking for old 90, 100 year old Germans that escaped so they can bring them back and serve justice to these old men. But when we say the oppressor is going to pay for his crimes, you say we got to get over it. It's in the past. You understand? You say that it's, it doesn't matter. And God is a God of love and you got to forgive. Well, you didn't forgive Osama bin Laden. You didn't forgive Saddam Hussein. You didn't forgive none of the people that you went and bombed and murdered all over the earth when they committed crimes against you. The Jewish man to this day doesn't buy German-made cars because they still feel for what they did to their people. Every race of people is allowed to love their own people except black people. The moment we come up here and say, black man, separate from the people that hate you. Separate from the people that murder you. Separate from the people that have lied to you and convince you to serve their God. When we say separate, you say it's racist. Well, we should absolutely separate black man out of sheer self-preservation. Thank you, brother. That's why we should separate. You understand? 
because we have to save ourselves at some point. While we want to love everybody else, we lack love. And that's what the brother's bringing out. We've been taught to believe that we are nothing as a people when God says the opposite in this Bible. God says not only are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans a special people, they are the only people that he loves. Now that sounds strange, you know why? Because the Christian church has been lying to black people. The Christian church has been teaching lies in the name of white supremacy. While they telling you God is all love, the KKK were burning crosses on the yards of black families and murdering black people. But I thought God was all love. You do know the KKK are a Christian organization, right? So you telling me, black man, you want to be the same religion as the people that murder our people? That is Stockholm Syndrome, man. That is insanity. And guess what? That's why we're out here. To reveal the delusion our people are suffering, man. It's bad enough we got to serve the white man and be underneath him and make him rich. But then we got to love you and love your God too? Can we not love our own people? Can we not serve our own God? That's what we all have to teach, man. And the God of the Bible says that his people are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The real Jews. It's all throughout this Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. It's talking about one set of people. And we've been lied to by these filthy pastors, man. These filthy pimps. They tell you God loves everybody. God does not love everybody. And you're going to find out just in, just in a second. God doesn't love the Ukrainians. He don't love the Russians. He don't love none of these races of people who have built their countries and nations off the backs of our people. Every race of people comes to America and knows the way that you become successful is to capitalize off of the destruction of black people. It's to capitalize off the ignorance of black people. Look in the black neighborhoods. Where are our businesses, huh? Where's the biggest businesses for the black community? You go in the black community, you see Asians have businesses in our community. You see Arabs, East Indians, Africans. Everybody has a stake in the black community except black people. And then they hate us on top of that. They hate us. And you're absolutely right, brother. They are lazy. But they paint us out to be the ones that are lazy, that don't want to work. Well, we've been working for everybody else for 400 years. That's all we know is to work. That's why our brother feel like he got to go get high and get drunk. Because all we know is work. And we seeking a little bit of refuge. The problem is, your refuge is not in the drugs, man. Your refuge is not in that bottle. Your refuge is in your people. That's what your refuge is in, man. The white man has done a number on our people. He doesn't want black men to stand up and be strong for their people. He doesn't want black men to stand up for what's right. You understand? He wants black men to be weak so our families are weak and they can continue to destroy us. God says, black man, you are his sons. Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man, you are his sons. And the Lord requires you to stand up and be strong, man. It's high time to stand up, man. The time is over for all that party all the time and we are the world and you know, let's have fun. You a goddamn grown ass man, man. This time is up for all that fun. There's a war being waged on black people. It's a war being waged on our people while we think we can live in this place in peace. You better wake up. You better listen to what this prophet is saying, man. The reason why we come out here is for the preservation of our people. We not like your pastor, man. Your pastor, he's in business to get more and more money and to get rich and to sleep with all the kids and all the wives and just be nasty and disgusting. You understand? Yes, the Christian church is the destruction of the black community. Right. And the moment that we leave those Christian churches, you would see our people will change overnight. We already you understand? The Christian church allows everything that God says is wrong. The Christian church says two men can lie together and it's okay. What God says, that is disgusting. And it's against the Bible. The Christian church, they know children are being molested. And you know what they do? Sweep it underneath the rug. Boys and girls being molested all throughout the black church, and everybody knows it, but nobody stands up to say what's right. Nobody stands up and says, you're wrong, and you're disgusting, and you need to go to jail. You know why? Because that church is a place full of cowards, hypocrites, 
and everything wrong with the black community. That's right. They don't follow the Bible in the Christian church. If they did, you would see the black community be in a different condition than what it is now. We got black churches all throughout our communities. So how come our communities have been in the same conditions since we've been in America? How can we still try to get ahead in life? Because the Christian church doesn't benefit black people. Christianity doesn't benefit black people. The Bible is black supremacy. Christianity is white supremacy. You better come back to your records, black man. The Lord is bringing division on the earth, and the Lord is going to destroy this place. You didn't heard all the old folks say all the time, Judgment Day and Armageddon. Everybody knows the end is near. But you think we it's a joke when somebody says it. Don't worry. World War III is right around the corner. And you're going to find out just how fragile America has always been. The place that you invested all your time and your love and your energy into is a sinking ship. America will not be alone around forever. You understand? You better invest in the best investment you can ever invest in, and that's your people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what you should invest in. Love your own people. Every race of people doesn't. That's what this brother's bringing out, man. Love your own people. Come back to your own culture. Your own way of life. The way of life that the Lord gave us in this Bible. Because we are God's children. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Don't let the white man tell you you anything else except God's children, man. The real Jews. Keep dropping it, brother. Get that priest and prophet a powerful hand. What he bringing out is so heavy. And to, just to add on to that, while Russia is destroying their family members, the Ukrainians, because they're the same people, the Red Cross over here, the organization of the Red Cross, raised over $9 million for Ukrainians. But they don't raise not one dollar when Bloods and Crips, GDs and Vice Lords shoot each other. Or we get shot down by the police. No money is raised. We got to go to court, wait, and then you might get like a $6 million settlement, and then you still are not satisfied. Because Freddie Gray, everybody remember Freddie Gray, the young brother that died in Baltimore years ago, his mother was awarded the settlement of $6 million, and she tried to commit suicide. She got $6 million in her bank account, and she still tried to commit suicide. Why? Because that's how, that's how evil America is. Right.